this is Cindy Queen's Heart, and I have another um, share for you guys. This is a haul um, from a lot of random places. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So let's see. I'm just all over the place here. Um, first, I had done an order with Ranger. So I was looking for some paints. Because I've been doing a lot more, trying to do a lot more art journaling. I just took a class using a jelly plate with Dino, um, Dino Wakely. Wakely and um, I'm doing the, I forget what it's called. It's the art journaling year-long class, wandering something or other. <laughs> I'm doing that one. So I just wanted some more paints. Um, and I like the Distress paints. They're, they're really fun to work with. I do have quite a few of them. But I just picked up a bunch of colors. Um, they were on sale on, on Ranger's site. So I went ahead and did that. And so part of the reason why I'm doing this video is I really need to get this stuff um, put away. Okay, so the other thing was I did a big order with Miss Ink. And they were out of some of the things I wanted, but I was able to get the majority of them. So they have a whole Alice in Wonder line, which I love. And so I went ahead and just splurged with Christmas Bunny and got it. So this one is Tea Party. And I have a lot of Alice in Wonderland stuff already, like some stamps, but I mostly have like paper. You know, Echo Park did a whole thing on, on Alice in Wonderland too. This one is called Wonderland Wisdom. Um, really cute. I got a couple of the um, stencils, which I'm really getting into more stencils. So here's how many stencils I got. And then here is um, a castle, Red Queen's castle. This is um, called Painting the Roses. And we've got the Red Queen. This one is called Queen of Hearts. I think this one will work really well with like gnome stamps too. And this one is called Smokin' Caterpillars. And I have, um, this one's pretty cute. This one is called Alice. I really like this one. I'm thinking like on this stencil, oh, she's falling. And then this is uh, called madness um this is not an alice one but i i wanted to get this one um first rule of 2021 is never talk about 2020 i think we also should not talk about 2021 um even though i think brighter days are ahead happy new year is what that one's called and then this one is a very unbirthday to you and happy birthday to you i have a stamp set too from i don't know if it's my pink stamper or I don't know. I have another stamp set that does, that has a bunch of Alice sayings, but I can't remember where it's from. And then I did, I think I ordered these flowers. I don't know, but I know that this, I think, I'm thinking must have been a gift because I don't remember buying that. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's from this ink. And then um, I haven't been doing as much peachy cheap but for peachy cheap they did have this make it merry and i have a few things from um peachy cheap from this collection so you get so peachy cheap is still selling october afternoon basically is what i'm trying to say and didn't say so i have some some of this collection because i really was a huge fan of october afternoon and was really sad when they went out um but anyway it, it gives these are the eight by eights um it's one-sided pretty thick I think it'd be really great for um, like a junk journal in my style junk journal so it came with the eight by eight papers um, I believe it, this was in there I'm thinking um, it comes with the ephemera which I love it's got that vintage look I sort of like to combine the vintage with the new and then it has these cards and tags um, and then I believe it also came with these 
so that was peach cheap and that was a really good deal i have such a pile of stuff to put away it's like not even funny um i did buy this is, not bad. This is something that's good away um buy some things from let's see um let's see this is Doodlebug. Um, it's Doodlebugs WA. So it's like a store, I believe, in Washington. But they have an online store. And you get um, $30 is for shipping every day. And then you can earn points. Um, so I got some stencils because stencils are my new jam. So I got this layering stencils, roses. Um, I got this Starburst one. And then I got this letter stencil. I also picked up... Um, some of these pastes so I got this like copper paste fret which is a glitz glitter gel from Gina K and then this is Luna paste so it's kind of kind of it's like less than silver but more than white oh that makes sense so I mean, that's okay. <laughs> it is um, this one is a sparkle texture paste and it's in turquoise and then this one is a resist paste. And I believe I saw this on a video and I wanted to try it. So I think it's exactly what it what it says. You could put it on a stencil or on part of your paper. And then you could stencil over it. You could color over it, whatever. And it's supposed to resist. So we'll see how that works. Um, I'm going to have to experiment with that some, some more. I also got this um, washi, which, which is on sale. It says, Happy Holidays. And the ones with sayings are really good for the envelopes. And um, I also got this, which is the Stamper's Big Brush Pen. It was on sale on this yellow. And then I missed a couple things to share with you uh, for the Miss Ink. I got this other one called In the Dark. And then they have these Dazzle Dust um, glitters, which are amazing. So Ocean's Wave and Mermaid Lagoon. I got those because I love the funky colors. And then um, I got, so if you spent, if you bought anything from Simon Says Stamp, they had a special free little die. So I went ahead and got that. And I wanted to pick up a black glimmer paste. And I wanted to pick up a gold, which I don't believe I have gold. You know, so, and then it came with this um, free die, which I think is really cute. And you could just not use the candy cane part and just use this part for Valentine's Day. And then let me pull out for you. Let me see here. I've got a big thing from Sizzix. So, um, the Sizzix, I don't have the prices for everything, but I can tell you that I spent $65 almost on the nose for free shipping um, plus tax. So all this stuff was $65 plus tax shipped to me. So it's it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I just need to get putting everything away and get to crafting. I've been doing a lot of cleaning out my house, and I had a big problem with hives, which I'm still suffering from. Like I'm allergic to something, I don't know the stress or what, and so I've been having hives like every day for a week. Um, I've been cleaning out stuff. I've been selling a ton of things out of my craft room, but also on eBay. So it's just been a lot of stuff out of my closet through Parshmark. So just a lot of cleaning house. I just need to have time to create. So this is, I, and I've really never used these 3D dies. Um, I thought they'd be fun. I've seen them use them to. Um, texture over them to use paste and things over them so i don't know i'm going to try it 3d textured impressions i got this tim holtz i saw him do a whole bunch of stuff with greenery i think it'd be fun just to do some greenery stuff and then when i do cards i i have greenery pieces ready to go so i got that and then um this is the sophie gillier, gillier um line thinlets and letters small big numbers so it's all on one thing which i really appreciate because it really sucks when you got these little tiny tiny dies and i have lost dies before and it sucks so i like that because it's all in one piece 
And then here is, um, I don't believe I have this one. I have a Jen Long that has a bunch of sentiments on there, but I think it's more like friendship ones. And this was on clearance. And so it's got New Year, which I don't have anything since New Year, I don't think. Happy Holidays, Cheer, Noel, Joyous, Season Screen. So that's that's a good one to have. And then I got this one, which is a Sharon Drury, Celebrate, Thanks, and Love. So I liked the style of that. And then um, I got this, which is like a heart one. And then I have this um, snowflake die. This is kind of an older uh, die. You know, some Christmas stuff. I mean, it was on clearance. Um, these, now I really have a thing for these texture fades. I have a couple of them of the poinsettia. Um, I forget what else. I have a couple of the texture fades, and I really, really like them. They really do put a little extra oomph to your project. So if you find any of these big dies with the texture fades, they they really are amazing. So basically, you use the die to stamp to cut out your image, and then you run it through again by putting your cut out image. Um, in the embossing folder and then it gives it its texture and um, it really does do a lot to the image. So I've got a few of those. Um, I picked this up. Why not? I mean, yeah, I make my own envelopes. I can, um, but I don't think this was such a good price and I believe it's the right size when I make my little um, envelope embellishments you know, the gift card holders. I think this is the same size or similar size to what I like to use. So I'll have to play around with that and see, but it was an amazing price. And plus you get the little postage stamp and you get this little part for the front as well. And then I had a thing about houses. It's like certain things you got a thing for gingerbread men, houses. I forget what else. There are certain things I just buy books, things about books. I buy. Um, but this is a scoreboard die, so you can cut using a lot of different uh, mediums. It makes a house that's like a, what do you call this, like a, like a gift bag, gift box, whatever. Um, but I have some other pieces of other house dies that I wonder if they might work for this to make this into like a gingerbread house or I don't know. So I might try to find some time to play around with ways to use this one. Um, again, these were all really, really good prices. And then I couldn't not buy this one because it was really cheap. This is a Lori Whitlock. It has 13 dies. I don't know that I use like all the dies that it comes with. Like I hate fussing around with these little tiny pieces and I don't know, it's just me. Um, but I do like that it cuts out this stair kind of card and all of the layering pieces. So that's nice. Um, it's called a birthday shutter card. So of course you can just cut this out and use it to make any kind of card that you want, but it was a good price. And then this also was a good price and that was why I got this one because it's ginormous. It's like way more ginormous than I really realized, even though I probably knew it was this ginormous. It's this box um, with scallop flap. And so it makes this right here. And this, um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, the assembled size is three and a quarter by two by three and a quarter. So I think it's really good for like a gift card um, and a small card or, um, you know, if you're going to be sending happy mail, it's a good little... Um, a little acetate like little bows or something in there so there's a lot of ways to use that really good price point so this is their clearance sale and so all of this shipped was 65 plus tax so tax in california like mine's a little bit less because i live in orange county but not much less it's like nine i think or something like that so you know, like I think it cost me 71 and some change or something around there for all of these. And so I thought it was a pretty, pretty good deal. And um, I do have a couple more things coming, the straggling things, um, but not a ton left. I'm really kind of in the process of putting everything away, labeling everything, organizing everything. I move all my stamp sets into, into envelopes so that 
they are just easier to manage. So anyway, that is um, my haul. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy Crane with Heart.